Okay, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I need to go get some scissors because we're gonna unbox these LG Chem batteries that I just got in the mail. These are the LG Chem batteries I got from the battery hookup. I am beyond excited. Although, I think I need to run the Ace hardware. I don't know if the game with the bolts. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, that's how excited I am to get these LG Chem packs. Now, I got these from the battery hookup in, Calif in California, okay? Uh, I don't know if it was a Christmas special, but they were dirt cheap. I paid $20 per chem pack. I bought 14 of them, and uh, the shipping was $50 or $52 for shipping. It came out to like $350 or $352. Believe it or not, these boxes are way smaller than what I thought, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and get some uh, measurements here for you. But these are the recycled LG chem packs. Bom, 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 bom. Okay, you see? The pla they ha do have a plastic harness that they sit in, but uh oh, look at the plastic harness. It's a little bit cracked, so they're a little bit loose in there. They normally sit together. They normally sit on top of each other. Okay, so well, oh, where the positive and negative is, I'm, let me see if I'm in view right here. All right. Now where the positive and negative are on these LG Chem Packs, you gotta watch it because they can come out of the plastic, you see? They can come out of the plastic, they stack on each other. But the positives and negatives are right in here on the Chem Packs. And if you look at the battery right here, it's kinda hard to hold them, but there's a positive and a negative to let you know which one's the positive and which one's the negative. And that's pretty awesome. Now what I am going to do is these are uh, 3.7 volts each. What I was worried about is they're shipping from California to Chicago and they had to come on ground. Let's see. Uh, car oh, this cargo aircraft only, forbidden on a passenger aircraft. Cargo aircraft only, forbidden on a passenger aircraft. Now these are actually stacked on top of each other. Uh, let me get the next one, the next one. These are probably all, man, it sits really good. They were probably all from the same pack. See, they sit on top of each other and there's positives and negative, positives and negative. Okay, so let me see how much bolts are on the side. Aha, they do come with the bolts. I didn't know if they were gonna come with the bolts and a washer, it looks like. This right here is a positive and this right here is a negative. So I gotta set these up because these are 3.7 amps or 3.7 volts. And I got 14 of them to run in series. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And the main negative is a negative and the last positive should equal 48 volts. I did purchase a BMS, so I gotta get uh, probably a 22 gauge wire to run to each positive and one of the negatives. But the cool thing is to run them in series, let's see, there's negative, positive. So then you can look at the next one now I got, I did get two boxes in. I ordered 14 of them. I got two boxes. So that's positive. So this is negative. Okay. Hmm. This is my thing right here. Trying to figure out how to run these in series since it's bolt bolt. It's like a regular, it's like a regular bad car battery. I can run a car battery in series. No problem. Car batteries in series trying to figure this out in my head how to place these this is it's right now it's positive negative positive negative but there's also bolts on this side right here so i would actually have to go from there's one bolt on this side which is the negative so that'll be the main negative then there's a positive over here that has to go to the negative over here all right i got it so it's on the negative over here so the positive over here has to go to the negative over here. Aha, I figured it out. Now they're really cold, so this is the unboxing of them. I got, there should be seven per box, okay? So from here, I actually, this negative, this is positive. Like they were taken apart from a whole case. There was, they were like in a briefcase, a, 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 like a business UPS, and they were taken apart. 
So now what, to install these right or have these done right, truthfully what I'm probably gonna do is after I get them all stacked up, I'm gonna tape them together really good with uh, electrical tape around them to try to compress them some so I don't have to buy screws for each one of the holes because it's not, they're gonna once they're set they're, they're set and forget and they're life PO4 these are the very extremely safe ones these are the very extremely safe batteries these ain't regular lithium ions I don't I don't believe I'm in a DIY battery group on Facebook Robert Trevino Rob Trev on the DIY battery group on Facebook okay so there's a lot I have a lot of questions I'm asking a lot of questions a lot of battery gurus in that group and I'm also in Will Prowse's DIY solar forum DIY solar forum I'm in that one also so with these batteries here I'm doing I got a 48 volt grow watt system so that's why I purchased these now I was looking at a big battery for they have a 48 volt big battery 1.3 uh watt hours but it is and it has a bms already but they were shipping out until february and you know me i can't wait i wanted some batteries so that was 500 or 550 for that not including the shipping so these chem packs right here are 3.7 volts each so 14 of them would give me the 48 volts that i need if i run them in series and uh the the capacity on these is supposed to be so awesome so uh, now with my solar system, I'm doing a hobbyist solar system. So mine's, I got a 3000 kilowatt hour or 3000 watt uh, uh, grow watt uh, inverter. So I'm going to get a kilowatt or to a, a usage meter to check my, uh, my fish tanks. I got one plug with the extension cord, six plug out with outlet for three of my fish tanks and one of my other battery chargers for the boat so i'm gonna plug the kilowatt into that and see how much watt hours kilowatt hours that's using in a 24-hour system then you could calculate it per month to know how much that uses because i got a heater on two of the tanks so from there i'm gonna know if these batteries with the solar will be able to supplement that let me make sure they all got see that it's awesome they tape these up because they didn't want them to arc so the, I'm probably gonna recycle this tape they got. They, they got some really good electrical tape. One, two, three, four, five. There should be two more in this box. Now this box was 31 pounds is what this box was. So I got a big old fat head. So you can see this to the side of my big old fat head. That's about how big it was. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And you see they're like Legos. They're sitting right on each other like Legos. There should be one more in this box. Now from battery hookup, these were supposed to be tested. This had to be like that. You could tell this was the top one in the package. It's like a, a, a stainless steel briefcase that these battery packs are in. So this is just unboxing of them. There's nothing else in the box. So what I'm going to do is uh, I got one more box of these. This should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to try to. My brain doesn't work that easy like everybody else's. I know I got to set up positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. But I want to try out what's going to be the easiest to run these in series. Because there's post, like the, the positive is right here and the negative is right here. Now the next one is the negative right here and the positive right here. So to run it in series, the negative is the main negative on the first battery. And then it goes from po from uh, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. And then the last positive is your main positive and that's your main negative. Now I did buy a BMS, uh, so I'm gonna run a BMS to this, So, but the BMS has like super thin wires. And, and with the BMSs, they do go to the positives in here, but it hooks up in line with the negatives of everything. So I think it just uses the juice from this and then it hooks up into the negative like the the negative from this goes into the negative of the bms and from the negative of the bms it goes to the negative of the grow watt so it, it shuts everything off from the negative side so i think that's pretty cool i don't know if they're balanced that's another video the next video part two of these lg chem packs this is just unboxing the lg chem packs from battery hookup they do have a nice big solid piece of tape on them 
and they do come with the screws from the battery hookup here's seven of them right here i'm gonna have 14 high i'm gonna put electrical tape right here right here right here and right here and i'm probably gonna squeeze them together before i wrap that electrical tape around them i could put screws in here and screws in here and then i'm gonna find a nice case to put them in with the bms so this is the size that they are this is me a regular person probably shorter than the average person <laughs> but either way this is 7 lg chempex we'll test the voltage in the next video i'm starving my honey starving we're about to go eat subscribe like and share i'm like super excited that these came in because i'm going to be super excited when i harness my first kilowatt hour now truthfully here in chicago i'm doing just an off-grid solar system and my thing is these may not even be hooked up all the time once they're charged once the whole system is set up with the solar power i might just have it for the solar power to do the fish tanks during the day and the grid power at night time because i have that option and with the grow watt you have that option that during the day you can have the solar power when the sun's out but if there's not enough power it'll go to grid power with just a plug so that's why i like it with just the plug and these right here I'm gonna keep probably as a backup generator. I'm gonna find out how long these can run power for and use them as a backup generator. With the kilowatt that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna check with the, I got another refrigerator in the basement and a freezer in the basement. So I'm gonna check with the kilowatt, how much kilowatt hours those use, how much watts they use. And then I'm gonna see if I could run this, how long I can run this 48 volt system off of you know the grow watt if need be if i need a backup generator power goes out how much power i can harness off this to keep everything running now these right here 350 dollars for 14 of this to make a 48 volt battery is pretty awesome but i don't know how long the battery will hold for if i had the money i would get four sets of 14. truthfully i'm gonna start a patreon if you want to help me out i want four sets of 14 to run parallel so these will all be in series and then i'll run them parallel to get more kilowatt hours all right thanks for watching subscribe like and share and look for my patreon please talk to you later bye bye